Hey guys, so I just felt like it was time to kind of like get the makeupy stuff out of the way and just talk to you guys one on one. I haven't really vlogged or talked a lot personally to you guys since my last life update and I have been so, so overwhelmed and blown away and I don't want to cry of all the love and support. Like I never in my wildest dreams would have ever imagined. I just thought that people were going to be criticizing me for not uploading videos. So I was just like, hey, I just want to put this out there so you guys know. I sat on that video for a few weeks because I just didn't know. Like I was going to disable ratings because I was like, I didn't think, didn't know what people were going to think or they thought I was just like coming on camera crying and just being, I, I was so unsure about uploading that video because it, it's just, it is, it's really raw. I look horrible. I'm a mess. I've been dealing with so much stress. My face is broken out. I had such a hard time editing it. There was a lot more that was said in that video that I didn't upload because my SD card was having issues and a bunch of the footage got messed up and but I still decided to edit it and just upload it anyway. And it was just, it was such a difficult time. And I just was like, I was just blown away. I'm somebody that I, I try to have really realistic expectations, which can sometimes get me in trouble because sometimes I expect things that people are not on the same wavelength as me. And then I'm like, oh, that's sad. I would have done that if I were you. But like, I, I never expected people that, I mean, I know you guys feel like you know me and I feel like I know you, but at the end of the day, like I've never met you like in real life. I mean, some of you I have, but like for the most part, it's just amazing the amount of love and support and compassion that I've received that I never dreamed of in my wildest dreams that I would ever receive. And to think that I almost didn't upload this and the strength and support that it has given me I, I can't imagine not having that because I can't tell you how many times that like I was having a really bad day, a really hard time just struggling with this or that. And it maybe wasn't even about my mom. Maybe it was just about something else in life and I'd open up YouTube. I'm normally really good about responding to comments right away. So some of my might've been a little off in responding right away. But every time I logged on and I saw the comments, it was exactly what I needed to hear. And you guys were so sweet to share your personal stories with me, to share what you had gone through personally, what your family had gone through. And it just touched my heart. It just touched my heart so much. And I just loved the positivity. It doesn't matter if you are just sending me warm wishes and love and energy from Mother Earth or whatever you believe in, or you believe in God and Christ and you're praying for me. Like no matter what it is that you're wishing for me, thank you so much. Like that means the world to me. And I can honestly say that it has helped me and it has helped my mom. And so my mom has been doing really, really great. Like, of course she has her hard days because she's cancer, but like she's been doing so well. And, and there's actually been days where we've actually been able to go out and do normal things. And it's just such a blessing. And I just think of like, I told her, I said, mom, there's people that you don't even know that say they're thinking of you and that they're praying for you. And what a blessing that is from people all over the world who really don't owe me anything. I just, it's, it's so wonderful. And you know, there's been days that have been hard or days that I'm just feeling down or just, you know, I'm a little embarrassed to say that it had been a while since I've been to my PO box because just getting busy with life and trying to adjust to things and just having some days where I don't feel that great. So I'm just not doing a whole lot, trying to catch up on my editing and filming because I, I enjoy doing this. And uh, I went to my PO box and I was so, so touched and blessed by the letters that I had received and the, you know, just like little inspirational music and things like that. And um, I, I really needed it that day. And so I guess it's just how it works out. You know, the world works in mysterious ways that I saw those things when I needed it. You know, when I really felt like I needed the extra pick me up, it, w it was there. And I'm just so grateful. I just, I appreciate you guys reaching out to me so much and sharing your personal journeys with me. And some of your advice has been so amazing. All the advice has been amazing, but there were some things that like I read and, and they made me laugh and then they made me cry because I could relate so much and it, it was what I needed to hear. 
and it's just it's refreshing that you guys get it i think there's so many people that are like trying to talk about medical diagnosis and maybe it's from people that like maybe have had a hands-off experience that they don't know as much about what it's like to be a caretaker but for those of you who have like been in my shoes and have been trying to help someone through this like it's so nice to hear your words of comfort. I, I appreciate it so much and I thank you. And I have a lovely subscriber that I'm also subscribed to. And the last day that my mom had chemo, she had uploaded a video for me and I didn't see it because I just really hadn't been watching as many YouTube videos. And for some reason today I went on my messages and then I saw that I had two in my spam folder and I looked and because she included a link to her video, it went to spam. And I, felt so badly that I didn't see it when she uploaded it. Like she wanted me to just come across it and be like, oh my gosh, look at this video. And I felt so badly that, that it didn't happen that way. But I want you to know that everything happens for a reason and I'm so glad that I saw it today. And you made my husband cry. Thank you so much for your kind words and for sharing with me your feelings and your faith and that you're there for me. I. I don't deserve all the kind words that you guys give me. I'm really just an average person. You might think that I've got my life together, but I really am just a hot mess most days. And I look at my videos and every single video I upload, I'm like, oh, look at my hair. Why is there an extra chunk of highlighter on that side of my cheek? Or, oh my gosh, look at those two eyelashes stuck together. And, oh my gosh, there's a giant zit on my chin. Or, I always see these little weird things. My bra strap was showing or I just think, oh, I shouldn't even upload this. This is just stupid. Like I wish I could just be amazing and incredible and make these really professional videos and have these team of people helping me. But I'm just like, that wouldn't be real because this is me. I I'm pretty sure that's mascara in my hair. Okay, because I was trying to get ready and then I was like, got it in my hair and then I was trying to wash it out and that's just how my life goes some days. Some days I walk around with mascara in my hair. And so I just really wanted to take a minute and let you guys know that I am so thankful and I feel like your support has really helped me and it's helped my mom, it's helped my family. She's doing really well and I, I'm glad. I just didn't know what to expect. I didn't know when I made that video if she was going to be so sick that she could never get out of bed. I didn't know if she would ever have good days and I'm, I'm glad to say that she does. She does have good days and she has days where like she actually gets to watch the grandkids play and, and, and we can be around her and that's something I'm so grateful for. You know and there's just been days that I've just been down for other reasons and just feeling like you guys support me really helps me because as you guys know, I made a video probably back in December talking about what's wrong with YouTube. And the bottom line is, guys, is YouTube is saturated. It's full of a million other girls that are more beautiful, more talented, more video editing, more whatever great ideas than I am coming on YouTube and making videos. And at the end of the day, I'm not that beautiful. I'm not that talented. I'm kind of boring. And a lot of people don't really want to watch me. And, and that's okay. But it, it's hard. It's hard to just feel like you're kind of vanilla, you know? And I'm like, that's fine. I, I know I'm kind of boring. But, you know, I just, I got a comment the other day saying, you know, someone kind of being critical, like, oh, wow, you have 12,000 subscribers and you have barely 500 views that you must have bought in your subscribers. And like, I'm like, okay, you can tell me that I'm boring. You can tell me that you hate the sound of my voice. You can tell me that my nose is large or I talk weird or I don't know what I'm talking about and all my makeup is ugly, but don't tell me that I bought subscribers because that's a lie. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't pay money for subscribers, so don't tell me I'm being dishonest because that is something that I will not stand for. And I was just feeling kind of uh, about it and just kind of like, oh, well. And of course, it's like some kid that has like 50 subscribers and 20 views and I'm like, but then I go and read one of your guys' positive remarks and I know not all the videos I make are gonna interest everyone and they hardly interest anyone sometimes and that's okay, that's okay. It's just hard, it gets discouraging because I just, I love doing this so I don't wanna quit but you know, I feel bad for people like I said in my other video that rely on this, that are even talking about quitting that have 200, 300,000 subscribers and here I am with only 12 and you know, if you don't do it for the right reasons, you just, stop doing it because it's like and I don't do it for the money or else I wouldn't be here. I do it for the the hobby it is for me and the connection and I didn't realize how strong that was 
until this happened. And I didn't realize how wonderful and great, like I knew you guys are there and you're supportive, but I didn't realize. And so not only have you helped me go deal with my mom, you've helped me be more inspired to not quit my YouTube channel when sometimes it feels like everything in the world is against me and there's a million reasons for me to quit. There can be a million reasons to quit something, but there could be one great reason to stay. And uh, my great reason is you guys. So thank you so much. And now I'm crying. <laughs> That's all I wanted to share with you guys today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.